Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. So I'm so excited for this video. It's going to be a full face of all Laura Geller products. They're all brand new to me. Um, and so I'm so excited to do that with you because my last video you guys loved on Laura Geller and I'll have that in the description box below. If you have not seen it, I also reached out to Laura Geller um, after you guys liked the video so much and I was able to get a discount code for you. So if you use MomLife25, you'll get 25% off of your first purchase. So head on over and use my discount code to save some money. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to be starting with this primer. It is a Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer in Rose Glow. It is so pretty, the color. Let me show you. It's this beautiful um, light, light rose color. Um, and it has like an orange smell to it. And when you put it on your skin, it almost feels like you did like a splash of water on your face. It's very refreshing. But it just gives your face like this beautiful, just like radiance. Um, and I really like it. Okay, the next thing that I got was Laura Geller Quench and Tint Hydrating Foundation in the shade Light. Um, I will tell you that if you follow my channel for a long time, I like light foundations. I like them to just make my skin look natural, um, but perfected. And this one, let me show you, actually I'm opening it before I show you, looks just like the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Light that I used to love. I love that it's just a squeeze tube. So I'm gonna put some out of my hand. Here is the color. It feels very um, moussey. It's like very airy and light. So we're just gonna rub it in with my fingers. That's the same way that I used to put on the Estee Lauder one. The Estee Lauder one felt um, kind of heavier to me and not as easy to work with. Like I said, this one has more of like a mousse-like texture. It's very easy to spread around. All right, let me get some more so I can do the top of my face. All right, I will be honest with you. I've tried to film this video four times um, <laughs> and it just was not working out. I do not edit my videos. I like you guys to see my first impressions without them being edited. Um, so the last couple of times, um, like my husband came home with groceries with our son or somebody called during the video. So hopefully it works this time. Um, but I do want to say that because I tried to film this a couple times prior to this, I did have a full day of wearing this makeup and I really, really like it. So here is the foundation, just one coat. Um, I love that it just gives like a natural look. It's not as heavy as the Estee Lauder one, um, but it's very similar. And it did not settle in any to like my smile lines or my forehead line. It didn't settle at all. So I really, really liked it. Okay, the next thing I wanted to share with you is the Real Deal Concealer. Um, it's in the shade Porcelain. I got a little bit lighter because I wanted to brighten up under my eyes. Now I will tell you the first time I tried to use this while filming, um, it is really pigmented. So you need very, very little. And this one actually reminds me of the highly coveted by um, Angie Hot and Flashy, the Lancome eye primer that she loved. It's just like it. It has a lot of pigment to it. You need the tiniest amount to just dot. It is a thicker formula than like the foundation you just used, but it blends out beautifully. And look, I mean, I had very little and it just covers great. I'm also gonna go ahead and use it as an eye primer. Um, just to color under on my skin to make everything look all even. I'm gonna do that over here as well. I mean, but it does a really great job of, look at, this one looks a little bit, I got more on this side. We just make it even, but it's very, very um, pigmented. I don't think I needed that much. I'm going to add some down here to where I have some blemish marks from before. And the other thing that I've been doing is I've been putting concealer down my nose like this and up here because that's where the sun would naturally like hit your face. And I think it really like brightens up my face when I do that. I saw it on the Small Things blog and I've been doing it ever since and really liking it. 
So if you haven't tried that, try doing that. Okay, so there is the concealer and foundation. And then I have to tell you, I'm still super impressed with her blushes. Um, this one is rose and berry mixed together. And um, when I put this on, there's just something about her blushes that have like this beautiful natural radiance and glow to them. And I also picked up a blush brush to try with it. Um, I love her blushes. So if you saw my last video, you knew I said, if you bought anything from the video, buy her blushes. I still highly, highly stand by that. So this is what this one looks like. It looks so pretty on the skin. Let me show you. Now the other one that I had, like had like a highlight with it, but somehow she bakes like these highlights, like right in because this one even has that beautiful highlight to it. So I'm just pressing it on my skin. Look at that. I mean, it's just this beautiful, like natural radiance. I love her blushes. All right, so there we go. Oh, and if you didn't see my last video, I always press it this way and then I turn my brush and press it this way because of it being dual, so you get both colors on both sides. All right, the next thing that I have, let's see, we're gonna do her eyeliner. This is Dual Ended Eyeliner in Eggplant. There was this purple eyeliner that I had from Alme, I wanna say, that I loved and then they stopped making it. So I'm super excited about this eggplant one. So I always pull my eye across when I put on eyeliner. I know a lot of people don't do that. I just find it easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw on, it's a beautiful purple. It's very really pretty for fall. All right, on both sides. There we go, that's a really pretty color. Okay, then I have there, can't wait to try a new mascara. Love Your Body Volumizing Mascara. So let's see. It says that it uh, gives lift and it lengthens and amplifies. So this is what the tube looks like. Let me show you what the bristles look like. All right, so this brush kind of gets fatter towards the edge and then it gets skinnier um, and it kind of dips in there. Let's go ahead I always go to the base of my lashes and wiggle it up. Oh, that's definitely giving a lot of length. It's also doing a really good job separating my lashes. All right, let's do it on this side. All right, that's working really nicely. So there it is with just one coat on each side. Let's do two coats just to see if I can get a little more drama added to my eye, but it is definitely doing a great job lengthening my eyelashes because my eyelashes are not that long. There's two, whoa, that's impressive. All right, let's try this side. I really like the way this looks, I mean, it's getting a good amount of length. There's two coats. That looks really good. I'm sorry, I don't think I'm getting this side to make it look the same. There you go, it's a little bit more. All right, and then I'm super excited about this brow product because it's two in one. So I don't know about you, but every time I do my brows, I use like the NYX clear gel to kind of set it down. This one comes with it. So it is Sculpt and Stay Waterproof Brow Pencil and Gel, and I have it in the shade Dark Brown. Let's start the bottom. I'm open the other end. All right, so on this end is the color, and this end is the clear gel. So it is a thicker, it's like the Benefit Brow, like the original. Um, the thicker one. So let's go ahead and I'm used to working with my NYX micro one, so it's really small. So it's been a while since I've worked with a thick one. This color looks really good. It's a good match for my, my brows. 
So in um, Benefit Brow, I wear the shade three, and in the NYX, I wear um, Ash Brown. So this dark brown is really good if you wear the same shade as me and eyebrow color. This side is where I have a little bit more sparseness to it. Ooh, I'm really not used to using a thick one. I kind of messed that up. I might have to use some concealer to make that look a little bit more. There we go. All right, that looks really good. I gotta practice using a thick one. Just not used, not in practice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I kind of made red by moving that. So on this side, you spin it and it has like a little end here that has a gel on it. So I'm gonna brush it up in there to make it all nice and set. I highly recommend that you do this because it makes your brows not move throughout the day. Okay, so if I was going to work, this is usually like the quick and easy how I do it and then I add some lip color, but I really wanna show you before I do my lip, this beautiful eye set. I know I'm kind of doing it out of order, sorry. So I got this eye brush set. I usually use my one from Amazon. I'll link that down below too, but I wanted to see um, how this eye brush set uh, works. Um, and I kind of needed a new one anyway, because it's been a while since I bought one. So we're gonna use the eye brush set. Oh, it's called the Six Piece Brush Set Eye Expertise. And then this palette is so gorgeous. You definitely need this palette. Look at how pretty that is. It has cools, let me open it up. It has cools and warm tones, and it would just be gorgeous. Look at that. For spring, summer, and fall. Look at those beautiful colors. I love that they're baked too. So let's go ahead and use some of these brushes. I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with this glacier color right here and put that all over my lid because it's a light color. Oh, I like that these don't really have much fallout to them at all. I mean, they are a little powdery since they're baked, but I'm not like getting like a huge amount of fallout or anything. All right, so there is glacier all over. It's just kind of a little, nice like neutral all right let's go ahead and switch to a different brush i think we're going to pick up and do like a little bit more of a dramatic eye today all right so let's go in and i'm going to do this north star it looks like a beautiful like shimmery plum color to kind of go with the eyeliner i used these shadows so far are blending beautifully since they're a baked kind of like powder consistency, they're really blending nicely together. Even though it's um, a powder like consistency, like I said, it's not giving me fallout, like I'm not getting any underneath. It's a really pretty color. All right, let me go ahead and do this side. on that side so I'm just trying to even it out a little bit that's really pretty this palette it just has gorgeous colors in it there we go okay and then to kind of blend all that together um you know what no wait I'm gonna go in to the corner of my eye and add a little pop of shimmer so let's see this is called landslide I'm gonna pop it right in the corner here to kind of brighten up my eye Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay, so then to blend it all together, let's see. I'm kind of losing my sunlight. It's kind of going away here. Um, let's go in and I'm going to do this cliff color mixed with hail. Such cute names. So I'm just going to do it mixed a little bit. I'm going to just. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that color. Cliff and hail. There we go. Oh, I like that. All right, and then I'm going to finish the look with a, let's see, this is a waterproof lip liner in Radiant Rose. So I'm 
me show you the color of it. It's nice and creamy. It's a really pretty neutral color. Go ahead and draw that on. And then we're going to end with a tinted lip oil in finish line. I don't know about you, but lip oils just sounds super hydrating to me and I can't wait to try it. All right, so this is what the lip oil looks like. Let me show you the color of it. Ooh, that would be perfect with this lip liner. Look at that, very pretty. It reminds me of the Bobbi Brown lip gloss that I've loved. It was like, um, what was it? Pink rose or pink brown or something is a really pretty neutral color. Mm, that is very hydrating and it is not sticky at all. It almost feels like it's drying down, but it's like super, super hydrating. All right, so here's the finished product. These are all brand new um, Laura Geller products that I'm trying. And like I said, I did get to wear this foundation for a full day since I had it on trying to film before, and it did not settle into my smile lines, which happens a lot, and it did not settle up in my forehead line either. It just looked really, really pretty. And I will tell you, it does give you like this beautiful, like natural radiance glow. Um, so if you don't really want the glow, you could always put some powder over it if you wanted to do that. And also they had, um, in this primer, they had a mattifying primer that you could also try as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up before you go. And don't forget to use that discount code so you can get a discount on buying Laura Geller products. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.